where I had my job set up in the Berryessa Highlands, everything I own there, business related, is gone. It all burned up with the house that I was, we were working on. So you talk about a loss, man. James Kuhnlisk lost all of his equipment and tools. He no longer has a way to earn a living. The Lightning Complex fire forced him to put aside his pride and get help at this shelter in Napa. I, I, I was hesitant on coming because, uh, you know, it's all handouts, but uh, I had to. I had to come to grips with it. And now that he's here, he's received food and has a place to stay. Oh, it feels great. They're good help. Charles Edmondson thought his was one of only two homes in his Spanish flat neighborhood that was spared by the fast moving lightning complex fire. But then three hours later, it came back and burnt mine. Another very personal tragedy that's being softened ever so lightly by the help of good hearted people at the Napa shelter. But it's been going really good. They're really nice here. And they give you whatever you need, you know, whatever they have, and uh, they're really good people. Some evacuees came just looking for information, like Kevin Clawson, who evacuated Hidden Valley Lake with his wife and son when they heard the evacuation sirens that were installed just after the Tubbs fire. So I wanted to stop by and see if there was any additional information on the uh, whether we're going to be driving home to ashes or, or to a real house. As of this post, there are 34 shelters open across Northern California, accommodating around 2,600 people. Every one of them is staffed with caring people who are often helped by other caring people who donate supplies and gift cards by the handful. So it's my sister-in-law and her two children and their six boys in total. It's been said misery loves company. In this case, it loves family style Italian. So we fixed a whole bunch of spaghetti and salad and stuff and brought it all over and most everybody around here was invited for a big spaghetti feed last night. For more information about shelters and their locations, go to response.ca.gov and be sure to follow Cal OES and your local emergency agencies on social media. I'm Sean Boyd for OES News.